Hey y'all, this is week two of our philosophy module here. Um, and this week was a lot of critical thinking lectures from a teacher named Dr. Sadler at Fayetteville State University. And the video that challenged me the most this week was the first video on fallacies he posted. Um, Dr. Sadler discusses fallacies falling under the broad rubric of appeal to emotion throughout this video. And when Dr. Sadler began discussing emotional intelligence, that's what piqued my interest. This is a strength I know I possess and was really excited to learn more on honing this skill. Uh, he began, once the lecture switched to this topic, he began by saying, emotional intelligence is more important to someone's success rather than sheer intellectual intelligence. And after I heard him say that, I really sat there in silence for a few minutes. Um, and I thought to myself, how could that possibly be the case? Um, and once I realized how long I was sitting there thinking about it, I had to rewind and go back to the place I was at to really understand what he was talking about. Um, but basically, he began talking about handling emotions, whether that means handling emotions in yourself or handling emotions with other people. And keeping yourself in check will determine how successful you are to some degree, especially in business. Uh, being perceptive to other people's emotions and having the ability to intuitively intervene is a huge skill, and most people never really acquire that skill. But over the years, through past work endeavors and life experiences, I, I've reached a high degree of emotional intelligence. I can recognize situations, read emotions in others, and overall, I just know how to be fluid in conversation. I remember this one time I was working for Adam Curran at Curran Financial Partners, and I was just the intern at first doing the grunt work along those lines. And he would have these meetings with clients. And over time, he would eventually have me sit in on these meetings, take notes. And after the meeting, we would sit down and just him and I would talk it through. And uh, the meetings were pretty repetitious. But I noticed the longer I was in there, um, each client is different. And he knew this. They knew that. So he would go into each of these meetings with his own emotional intelligence. And he would really present to them, present to each client in a different way, which suits their needs. And he would really invoke the best reaction he possibly could, which is exactly what any person wants in business. Even though I feel like this is an area I'm strong in, I know that this is a skill that can always be sharpened throughout my life. And he was a great mentor and trainer, and I thank him for that.